Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can decide whether or not you wanna spend time or money or both watching a particular film. So today the movie I'm reviewing is called Bad Boys, Ride or Die. This action comedy is now playing in theaters as another sequel to the very popular buddy cop franchise. The movie is rated R. It's an hour and 55 minutes long. And my overall movie review mom grade is a B. So I will give you an overview in a nutshell. And then I'll point out the things I liked, the things I didn't like so that you know why I gave it the grade that I did. I'll also give you tips for parents, themes worth talking about, funny lines, interesting lines, and we'll finish up with recommendations for other movies that are sort of similar that you might also like if you haven't seen them or even if you have seen them. Anyway, before we get into that, let me just tell you today's featured product, which is the Bad Boys for Life collection. It's a DVD series that you can get on Amazon. So simply click down below. There's the link. It doesn't cost you any more to get it but Amazon will send me a few little pretty pennies just for sharing that link with you. All right, so on to the movie. In a nutshell, can you believe that it has been almost 30 years ever since the very first Bad Boy movie came out? Amazing. Some of the films are definitely better than the others, but fans are happy that they just keep coming. In this new installment of the franchise, our two favorite Miami police officers are on the run when their former captain is implicated in corruption. They have to be on the offense and defense in order to clear his name. The high octane action flick was directed by Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala. Writing credits go to Chris Bremer or Bremer, Will Bill and George Callow. Hopefully I pronounced those names correctly. All right, let me give you some quick tips for parents. In case you have kids who are interested in this, this is where the content part becomes especially important. There is profanity, including a million F-bombs, because I counted every single one of them. No, but there really were a lot. And there are some uh, moments of crude language. We see the naked rear end of a man. Various weapons are used. People die mostly bloodless deaths, but we do see some blood some, sometimes. Uh, there is tons of destruction, tons of violence, as you can imagine. People are in perilous situations. And then we see women in skimpy outfits. <laughs> All right. So some of the themes that are illustrated very well are friendship, revenge, trust, sacrifices for family, father-son relationships, mother-daughter relationships, and reputation. So here's the long list of things I really liked about this movie. First of all, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have undeniable chemistry together. They both have the exact same haircut and facial hairstyle in this movie. And I was wondering, what's up with that? But it, in addition to being the main attraction of this movie and why you want to watch it, is they also co-produced it with the legendary Jerry Bruckheimer. So that will kind of give you a heads up on how big the explosions are in this movie. Eric Dane and Tiffany Haddish both looked so differently as blondes. I almost didn't recognize Eric Dane. And even with Tiffany Haddish, I kind of leaned in. But anyway, I thought that they were both fun looks, especially for this movie. I'm a big fan of Vanessa Hudgens and have never seen her in a rated R movie like this before. I was kind of surprised to hear her swear a couple of times. I much prefer her in her sweet, comedic singing roles. <laughs> I mean, I love that she's stretching her uh, acting chops and so kudos to her. Other cast members who did an outstanding job were Jacob Scipio, Paula Nunez, Alexander Ludwig, and Ray Seahorn. Did you notice that Jay Shetty was the man who married Will Smith's character at the very beginning of the movie? I leaned in and I was like, that's Will Shetty. Watch a bunch of his YouTube videos. He's got a lot of wisdom. But I loved all of the cute cameos that are in this movie. I was surprised when DJ Khaled is in this short action flick, uh, action moment, and it just made me laugh out loud. Uh, it's very short. You can't miss. I mean, you can't move your eyes away from the screen or you'll miss some of these cameos. Another quick one is of Michael Bay, which is amazing. 
kudos to the stunt team for pulling off some very impressive action sequences, which are almost nonstop in the movie. Some of the shootout scenes were humorous, and I mean that in a good way. There's this crocodile tourist site that I thought made for a very fun set piece. And, and some of the other set pieces I thought were pretty good, but that one was notable for me at least. Some of the shots I thought looked like they were straight out of a first person uh, shooter game. And, you know, that's kind of fun for a few moments, but um, I'm glad they didn't overuse that. If you play video games, you're definitely going to enjoy those moments. The last frame of the movie just made me laugh out loud. If you're a fan of this franchise, I think that you're going to enjoy a few Easter eggs and respectful nods to some of the previous movies. All right. So with all of that praise, there were really just a few things I could think of that I didn't like or thought could have been done differently or better. And now the first isn't really a reflection of the movie per se, but every time I saw Will Smith with his character's wife, I wondered what Jada Pinkett Smith was thinking about that. You know, they kiss, they hold hands, they cuddle. I mean, clearly she recognizes he's an actor and she must be okay with that by now, but you never know. And I don't know what the latest is with their relationship. I'm just saying it was really distracting. And I was actually kind of nervous <laughs> for Will Smith during those moments. <laughs> there are so many F-bombs in this movie. And I get it. These are really tough characters. But it just every time I'm like, oh, you know, can you, can you level up the script writing quality maybe a little bit? Um you know, it's easy to just throw out an F-bomb, but to say something more clever and witty takes effort. And so I just wish their, uh, the writing had been a little bit stronger in that regard. Sorry, I think I just hit the microphone. And then the last thing I could think of is that because uh, there are so many chaotic moments with loud bangs and crashes and explosions and action, I kind of started to get a little numb to it. So... As I mentioned, the, the action is almost nonstop. And so after a while, I was kind of starting to daydream and think about other things. And that's not good. Now, whenever I watch movies, I write down the funny lines and interesting lines that catch my attention. And you can see all of them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. But I'll share a few of them with you right now. So uh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith are having this conversation. And so Martin Lawrence's character says to Will Smith, we're soulmates. And you can totally picture Will Smith saying this. He says, nah, I saw my soulmate looking different from that. <laughs> I thought that was just kind of funny. There's lots of cute banter between the two. You definitely know that they drive each other nuts and they absolutely love each other. There were some interesting lines that I thought were really powerful that expressed some of the themes in the film. One was spoken by Martin Lawrence's character when he says, I spent my life being scared. I wasted so much time. Now, I'm not going to give you the situation that's happening while he's saying that because I'm trying really hard to avoid spoilers, uh, but it's an interesting moment. It's kind of laughable, but it's also really profound. And then another time he says uh, to, to uh, Will Smith's character, he says, you got to trust, Mike, trust yourself trust the universe. And that is a cute thread that runs throughout the movie that I really enjoyed. All right, I'll share two more lines with you. One is by Rhea Seahorn. And she says, people do things they're normally not capable of when their family's involved. And I love that because her character is involved with her daughter. And then we also see Will Smith's involved with his son. And then speaking of the greater family of what Will Smith and Martin Lawrence do to protect their captain, whose name has been uh, smeared with, you know, bad accusations and stuff like that. And then the last line is uh, it's also spoken by Martin Lawrence's character. And he says, there's a storm coming. Things are going to get bad. We're going to be tested. Just know we're good. And so you're like, oh, what's happening? What's going to happen? Now, I hadn't seen the trailer, so I had no idea. But anyway, there you go. All right. So let me give you three recommendations for other buddy cop movies that you absolutely should watch, especially if you're younger and maybe didn't know about these franchises. The first one is Lethal Weapon. Such a great pair, comedy action pair. Um, definitely check that one out. And then 
two other movies that are kind of spinoffs. Well, not spinoffs of Lethal Weapon, but definitely uh, are built on the lore of these. I don't even know if lore is the right word, but the, the genre of buddy cop movies, we'll just say that. One is called The Nice Guys, and another movie is called The Other Guys. And again, the, the pair of actors playing these cops is just really great. Lots of action, comedy, uh, really good uh, chemistry between the sets. Anyway, definitely check those out. Hopefully my reviews are helpful. If they are, give them a thumbs up, subscribe. Why not? Why don't you? Uh, and comment down below. My subscribers know I reply to everybody. I'll catch you in the next movie and have a fantastic day. Bye for now.